Now moving on to question seven, it says here are two sectors from different circles. Which sector has a bigger perimeter given that X is less than 180? And it says tick a box, section A or B, and it's a massive seven mark question. So let me zoom out because obviously this is going to require a fair bit of working out. And notice how the question resets. So let's just go back to it. So we've got this particular question. So for this, it's all about working out the areas from each of the separate sections. And again, you will need a bit of space. And again, in the exam, if you did have this, you could ask for additional sheets of paper if you've used up all the space. So if we look at sector A, now the formula for the area, for the perimeter, sorry, is going to be theta over 360 times 2 pi r plus 2 r. This is the formula that we're going to be using. So then, working out the sector of A, well here I know that the angle is x and I'm dividing that by 360 and then going to multiply that by 2 times pi and the radius for this is 1.5 r. And then I'm going to add, so I just pull that in brackets, I'm going to add two lots of the radius, which if I do that now, it's going to be 3 r. So then just neatening all of this up, I end up with, well, 2 times 1.5 is 3. So that's going to be 3 pi r x divided by 360. And that's going to be plus 3 r. Now, again, I could neaten that up. But I'm just going to leave it for this for the time being. Well, let, actually, let's leave it um, Simplify it now. So we've got pi r x over 120 plus 3 r. I'm just going to put a little box around that. Then working doing the same, but this time for sector B. So again, working at the perimeter, this time the theta is 2x, so it's 2x over 360 multiplied by 2 times pi times single r, and we're adding two r's to it. So again, simplifying this bracket here, we've got 2x times 2 times pi times r, which gives me 4 pi r x over 360 plus 2 r, which if I simplify the 4 and the 360, I'm going to get pi r x over 90 plus 2 r. Now what I need to do is I need to compare the green box with the blue box. Now at the moment, it's really difficult to me to compare because one, I don't know what X is and I don't know what R is. So there is an issue. Now you might think to yourself, well, if I substitute values of R, let's just make up a value, then I can then work out what the angles are going to be and what the perimeter is going to be, which I'll be honest, is actually a, a good tactic you could do. However, what you might want to do is to prove this algebraically. So what you could do is sub the same value well actually let's scrap that what you could do is pick a value of x remember that x has got to be less than 180 pick a value of r and then sub into each box and see which one is going to be said because r is the same in both the two equation and so is x so regardless of what they are it will then be, be able to give you a ratio now it won't be able to give you the exact perimeter but it will definitely give you some comparison about which one's bigger and which one's not now if you didn't want to go for that option let's say you want to prove it algebraically so if i just write a here and let's just write down what a is so that was pi r x over 120 plus 3 r and b was pi r x over 90 plus 2 r and if i then just write the the 3 r and the 2 r as fractions so let me just write that over one and actually let me just put that in blue then if i multiply a by 2 over 2 and i multiply b by 3 over 3. So technically I'm just multiplying by 1, so I'm not going to change the value. And all I'm going to do is just change the numbers and find the equivalent fraction. Then this then becomes 
2 pi r x over 240 plus 6 r and this is going to become 3 pi r x over 3 times 90 which is 270 and that's going to be plus 6 r now as you can see in this that we're both adding 6 r in both the same so what we can then do is basically focus on these two things here now if i simplify this one here and again this is looking an absolute mess but if i simplify that then that's going to be pi r x over 120 and this is going to be pi r x over 90. now out of these two because i'm adding the same amount that doesn't make a difference so the fraction part is the bit that's going to decide whether it's big or smaller now this one is clearly going to be the bigger one as the denominator is smaller so therefore this fraction is always going to give me if x is this and r are the same values in both fractions then this fraction here is always going to be bigger because i'm dividing by a smaller number so therefore long story short sector B is going to be the bigger of the perimeters.